Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put together the Ameristep two-man ladder stand 15 feet. So we'll come over here to the instruction booklet. First, always make sure you have all your pieces. We will open it up here. It's going to tell you your safety warnings and all that stuff. Here's all your pieces. Do make sure you have all of them. All right, assembly, assembly instructions, page one. All photos taken from front view unless otherwise noted. Remove all contents from packaging and make sure all parts are present before attempting to assemble. Tighten all bolt connections by hand first and then fully assemble. Uh, then, when fully assembled, go back and tighten with a wrench. Part 1. So, we are going to get part E, which is a the bottom, and part F, and then there's four screws that go in there. Attach foot plate E to lower portion of hand handle rails F using four M12 60 millimeter bolts. So, let's find these pieces here. All right. <laughs> We're going to come back. I'll be right back once I get it all ready in the pieces, and then I'll show you how to... All right, I am back. So, you're going to want four of these bolts. You're going to want the two big pieces. You're going to want the foot fork portion plate. How you can tell it's the foot one compared to the other one is it doesn't stick out as far. And what you're going to do is you're going to, I have this the wrong way, that's why that's not going to work. There we go. You're going to put it four bolts through here and connect it to this bottom part. So I'm going to get it all lined up. I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, I am back. So, that's what it's supposed to look like when you're done. Make sure you have this, this part facing down. That's so the ladder can go in. Um, just make it hand tight for right now. When we're all done, we'll tighten everything back up and then use some Loctite. So next, We'll go to step two. Attach seat platform D to upper section of handrails F using four M12 60 millimeter bolts. So we'll do the same thing we just did, but with this section up on the top. I will be right back. All right, we're back and that's how that's supposed to look. I found it's easier if you have something you can put it on so it doesn't lean back. Um, I saw another video on YouTube about how to put it together, or kind of a review about it, and he used a five-gallon bucket. Thank you to that guy. I can't remember his name offhand, but you're awesome for that tip. I made sure I had something to stick it up on. So for any other people that want to put it together, that is a good tip to help. So next we'll go to step three. Attach tree connecting brace O to the top of each handrail F at the rearmost hole using two M12 60 millimeter bolts. So this will be up at the top. We're going to get this here. And it has the spikes facing upward. We get two of these big bolts here, and then we'll come over, and it's gonna go in these two back holes. So I'll pause the video, and I'll come back, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, I'm back. So I have that all attached, and that's what that'll look like. So next we'll go to step four. Attach. Left armament seat G to the outside of seat platform D using two M12 50 millimeter bolts 
Attach right armrest H to the outside of seat platform D using two 10 millimeter or M10 50 millimeter molts. Note, both the brackets on each armament must be on the inside of the frame. Note. Note. So, we'll go over here. Here's the M12 50 millimeter bolts. We're going to take four of them. Something I'll let you know right now. Take two of these 50 millimeter bolts and find the ones with the three washers and set them aside. That'll come in handy later and I'll show you why. All right, so I'm gonna go get the two arm rails here. And they attach on the sides here, like so. So, I'm gonna get those put on. I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I'm back. So that's how that's supposed to look. Make sure you do have these in the front facing backwards. So next, we're gonna go to step five. There are three holes on the top of the armament. Attach backrest N to the rearmost holes of armrest G and using H, two M10 50 millimeter bolts, one on each side, well no, on each side, not one. Do not attach to the front hole. This hole is where the shooting rail will attach. So, we're going to grab the last four bolts. We're going to go grab the back rail here. Let's see. So how you can tell the difference is one is shorter and one is longer. We're going to want the shorter one because it has two holes in it. So next, we'll come over here. And this goes on the inside. And you attach it like this. So I'm going to get it all put in and the bolts on and I'll come right back. Alright, we are back. So I have that all done. Next, we'll go to step six. Insert each shooting rail extender, M, into shooting rail and secure with one M10 25mm bolt. Jump, melt, melt. My kitty has decided that he wants a pee bag ride. So, these bolts are these ones up here. We're going to go over here and get the shooting rail, which is right here. And then I believe, let me find which ones are the extenders here. Let me figure that out and I will be right back. All right, I am back. So the way you can tell which ones the rail extenders are, are they're the ones with the kind of hex or X on the end. And they just slide in, and you put in a bolt, one on each side. So I'll get that done, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. So I have the bar all put back together, or put together. So now we'll go to step seven. Attach shooting rail extenders M to the front hole of each armrest and H using one 10 millimeter bolt with three washers on each side. So when you do this, you want to make sure there's a washer in between and then one on each end. This is why I had you set aside the one with three so you didn't accidentally use it already. So it's going to go in these two holes, the holes right there. And it'll attach. So I'll get that done and I'll be right back. All right, so I got everything attached here. So that's what that'll look like. And then it'll go up and down and you make sure you have your washers like that. So next we'll go to step eight. Attach rail covers T to the backrest N and shooting rail L attach seat cushion S to seat platform D. So there's two long ones and one seat. So we'll put the seat cushion here, put the backrest there and the front one here and I will be right back. 
All right, so I got that all on. It's looking like a tree stand. We'll go to step nine. Attach step P to both yokes R and secure with one M12 60 millimeter bolt on each side. So that'll be these two pieces here. And I believe this little short piece. And then we will have two M12 60 millimeter bolts. Which are these ones, the big ones, go on each side. I'll get that all put together and I'll be right back. All right, we have that put together. So next, we're gonna go to step 10. Insert yokes R into handrails F, secure with one 10 millimeter, 40 millimeter bolt. So I'll get that all attached and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, we got that all done. So now we'll go to step 11, assembly instructions. Attach the single hold end of upper platform support J to the inside of handrail F underneath seat platform using one 12 millimeter 60, one M12 60 millimeter bolt. Insert two M12 50 or 85 millimeter bolts through upper platform support J and handrail F. Do not tighten nuts. Attach the double hold end of lower platform K to the handrail F. Now tighten nuts to bolts. Attach lower platform support K to outside of yoke R using one M12 60 millimeter bolt. Note, the upper platform supports will be between the lower platform supports and the handrails. Repeat for the other side. All right, so there's a long bar and a short bar it looks like here so that's what it'll look like right there on the side so we'll get that put together and I'll show you what it looks like and I'll be right back all right I'm back so I got one side done I thought I'd show you what it looks like you want to make sure you have the long bar and the back and both of them on the inside and you use your two long bolts there I found it easiest if you put one the one long bolt in here so then it allows both bars to both tilt and then you can put in the two short bolts and the other long one there and you're good to go so I'm gonna get the other side done and I'll be right back alright so we got that all done on both sides next we'll go to 12 Slide top ladder section A into yokes R and insert one 10 millimeter, 40 millimeter bolt in each side to secure. Make sure the sleeves are pointing towards the ground. Insert straight end of ladder section B, sleeve end of ladder section A. Insert one quick clip U through the hole of, on the sleeve and through the ladder sections on each side of the ladder. Close the quick clips to secure the ladder section together. Bam. And then do the same for the bottom. So I'm gonna pull this back and get it laid back and then we'll do those ladder sections and I will be right back. All right, I'm back, so I have that all done. I don't have the bottom section on because I just don't want to yet. But I put the clips there, clips there. Make sure you have that bracket facing towards the tree and then the two nuts up there. The bottom two are quick release. So next, we'll go to the next step. 16, rear view. Attach ratchet strap W to the outermost corners of each handle rail where the tree connect braces attach to the handrail. Right there. See installation straps V just behind the ratchet. Attach installation straps V just behind the ratchet. Alright, so. 
Alright, I'm going to figure this out, and I will be right back. Alright, I am back. So, what you want to do is the winch on the outside, there's a loop, and then you just slip it through it. And on this side, it's just a thicker cable or strap. And then you put the two thinner straps behind them. So now, we'll go to the next step. Well, now it's actually... Time to put it up, apparently. So, that is pretty much the installation, or getting it together the most part, for the Ameristrap 2-man 15-inch, 15-inch, that'd be a little, 15-foot ladder stand. I hope this helped you out. In the comments below, let me know if you guys have any questions. Hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll... See you guys later.